Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look. Today, I'm with the cast and director of Moonfall. Let's take a first look. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? 535 years ago, the Atlantic. We choose to go to the moon and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Do these big event disaster movies find you or do you like seek them out? Like, this is why I became a filmmaker. Well, it's a little bit, you know, I don't want to only be defined by disaster movies, but that's naturally uh, since Independence Day, everybody wants that from me. So, uh, and I kind of, in a weird way, I kind of created my own genre uh, uh, that way. and. Um, Moonfall is anyway a movie which is, takes much more uh, place in, in space than anywhere else. Especially to prepare for this role, but you, you got to see like uh, Day After Tomorrow, 2012, in, Independence Day. And I've seen them all and I thought I was prepared for this movie and I went on set and I said, no, I'm not ready <laughs> because he always has like new stuff for you to, you know, to improvise and to, and to do things to surprise him. So I guess it's a challenge to work with him because he, I always say that he's, he's a workaholic. He never stops, never rests. You know, you've done Game of Thrones, loved you in that. I loved you in this too. So do you see like from doing that to doing this, is there a big difference, a small difference? Well, the main difference about this one is that when I when I did any sort of VFX and you know special effects stuff on Game of Thrones, it was all stuff that was quite easy to conceptualise. Really, you can imagine what if you know what a White Walker looks like, you can imagine thousands of them, or you can imagine the thousands of Dothraki, or you can imagine what a castle looks like. But when you're dealing with the inside of the moon, where nobody knows what it looks like, Roland, you know, imagined it completely from the ground up. You don't even know what you're supposed to be imagining. You can't even get your head around it. So that was a big imaginative leap that was quite hard to take. And the results that I saw on the screen are so much more majestic than I could have ever possibly imagined. It's different doing, it's much different doing this because especially when you're dealing with a lot of high concept sci-fi, like you have no idea, you have no idea what this is really gonna look like, none. I mean, they can kind of explain it to you and show you a little video of like what they think it will be, but it's never as good. Whereas usually with a scare or with VFX on a horror movie, you can kind of understand, oh, okay, this happens and then the ghost jumps out and that, okay, I got it. But like here, it's like, you're gonna be inside the moon and you're like, what does that even mean? What, what, what does it look like? What is the, what's coming at me? Well, it's kind of a thing and it kind of goes like this and you're like, I have no idea. So it's, it's there's nothing real. There's, there's just a green screen and done later. So you just hope that your scared face works well. How is it putting on the space suit? Because every actor that I've ever seen like do a space movie where they have like the astronaut suit on, they never say that it's comfortable. So I don't know for you if that was the case. No. Uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, it was the worst. <laughs> it was so uncomfortable. Um, the, the, the blue suit where we spend most of our time um, was was awesome. And that, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, I guess the, you know, a little, uh, there's nothing worse than hearing an actor complain. So let me just say that right away. Uh, the blue suit, all that stuff was super comfortable, but the suit that they make for you to spacewalk, yeah, that's that's so uncomfortable. That's, it's like a shell. 
and you kind of have to, it takes like 10 people to get into it. And I thought, God, I've done superhero movies and I can usually get into those costumes almost by myself. But this, it's like, it's a bunch of people and you're just like, oh no, it's totally natural, guys. It feels great. You know, and then they fly you up in the air and it's like, now act like you're floating. And it's, and you find yourself going, yeah, these suits are real, but they're not made to be worn on Earth. Can we just agree to that? They're just meant to be weightless. Um, so yeah, they are not. They are not comfortable. And and I did find myself up there, like, just kind of hanging like this, going, I don't think I'd do a space movie, like a real space movie. I don't. I don't think I'd do it. I think it, you know. So it's uh, it it does take it out of you. Yeah, space is not such a comfortable thing if you're not in space. I hear in space they're amazing. But to be on planet Earth in a spacesuit, it's not what you want to do. They're not very comfortable at all. So I was watching the movie and it made me think back to your TV series that I enjoyed a lot, Extant. Mm. And I was wondering, is this is it similar to the, you know, being an astronaut then to now, or is it vastly different at the studio level? Like, do you maybe look at Patrick and John and say, yo, I got this. <laughs> it's 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 not very different. I didn't look at them and say, yo, I got this, but <laughs> I did have the research under my belt when I approached this role. I had spent two years um, talking to people at NASA, astronauts. I took a zero G flight. I knew what it felt like to be weightless and, you know, float in space. Like I had all of that knowledge um, to bring to this role already with me. So that was good. You can find Moonfall now playing in theaters.